This is Sam Lacey with Travel South USA. I am here with Whit Tuttle, Executive Director of Visit North Carolina. We are here in beautiful Shreveport, Louisiana for Domestic Showcase 2015. And Whit, you've been with uh, North Carolina for a while now. You've been around Travel South. Uh, this show has just gotten bigger and bigger. Uh, we've got 600 delegates here. So I hope you're ready to put in some work next year. We are excited. We're excited to have a show of this quality and caliber coming to uh, North Carolina to Winston-Salem for 2016. Uh, we're thrilled about it. And I think it really helps to show the, the strength that the group tour industry has. Absolutely. And, and, uh, you know, that it is really going strong. Mm -hmm. Yep. We will be in uh, Charlotte next December for uh, International Showcase, our fourth International Showcase. Very exciting. Had a huge turnout last year in New Orleans. And then we will be in Winston-Salem in 2016 for our domestic showcase. And uh, to have both shows in North Carolina next year, I hope you've uh, cleared your schedule because you're, <laughs> you're going to be really busy. I am going to be Mr. Travel South, yeah. I think, next year. So yeah. we're really excited, you know, both areas. Charlotte's a fantastic place for international travelers. Mm -hmm. Easy access, lots of gateways. Also easy for our domestic partners to come, mm -hmm. uh, set up, take some time. And then, you know, really get to see a great spot in North Carolina, Winston-Salem. Kind of one of our hidden gems in the Piedmont, the Moravian culture there, Old Salem. Uh, it's just a really beautiful place. You all truly have a lot to sell, from mountains to coast, urban environment. All, a whole different eclectic mix of things to sell, and that's exciting. You know it is, it's a blessing and a curse for us because when we have to boil that down into a 15 <laughs> second commercial, yeah, it's hard yeah, it's because very we're, true. we're so diverse as a yeah. state. So I think yeah. we, we tried to solve it with our list ad, uh, which you might have seen, where we, we kind of uh, talk about so many different things. Yeah, it was a great, great ad, by the way, great ad. We're, you know, this is our 50th anniversary, Travel South USA's 50th anniversary. We've been around since 1965. It's our 33rd showcase. So things clearly have changed so much since 1965 up until 2015 and moving forward. Um, can you speak a bit about how things have changed over the past 10, 15 years in tourism and, and where you see us headed? Yeah, you know, it is amazing how, how many things have changed. You know, uh, we've gone from uh, from the times of prohibition to now we've got a you know huge wine industry mm -hmm. uh, you couldn't make craft beer in North Carolina a, a decade ago and now oh, wow. we, we've got more craft breweries than any other state in the southeast wow. Wow. Uh, so there's exciting times we're, we're celebrating the 10th anniversary this year the legalization of moonshine distilleries oh, for cool. North Carolina very so cool. you know the hey moonshine is, is big it's with us big. Absolutely. you know and if it wasn't for moonshine we wouldn't have NASCAR yeah. Uh, so the, the roots really grow deep and it's a great chance to showcase that and it's really thriving and flourishing in, in North Carolina so we're excited about that. Uh, you know, what amazes me when I look back 50 years, the 50th anniversary of, of Travel South, the one thing that really hasn't changed for North Carolina is the scenic beauty. When I look mm -hmm. at some of our old uh, advertisements and promotions you see, we really early on we learned to focus what people loved about North Carolina was the scenic beauty. You know, mm -hmm. we're just a place of all these wonderful vistas and we continue to have them and to try and showcase them for people. Yeah, you mentioned uh, NASCAR and it made me think about Charlotte. We had a we had a site visit in Charlotte a couple months ago and truly, truly enjoyed the city. Um, I know that there'll be great hosts uh, there for International Showcase. Uh, fantastic hosts in Charlotte. They've got so much going on. Charlotte's got a lot. Yep. Uh, you know, the NASCAR Hall of Fame being there, added to the downtown. They have one of the most amazing minor league baseball stadiums. Uh, it was just recently built and there's a lot to do. It's very walkable, easily accessible. It's a big city, but it still has the heart of a small town. Mm -hmm. So I know people are going to have a wonderful time there. Yeah. Any other big events you got coming up in North Carolina here in the next couple We've of years? We've got some, some big stuff going on. We've got, uh, you know, Carowinds is opening uh, the world's tallest, fastest giga coaster coming oh, up in, uh, cool. near Charlotte. Okay. So we're excited about that. Uh, we've got a lot going on with the brew culture. Uh, mm -hmm. Sierra Nevada is opening a new facility. Oh. Uh, and there's going to be a, a brew, uh, brew mill in Rocky Mountain, North Carolina, where they're actually going to help teach brewers how to brew and, and become a brewery incubator. So we're really excited cool. about that and helping them just really uh, make that uh, craft brewery uh, just blossom and grow. Yeah. Very, very cool. Well, it sounds like you've got a lot going on here the next couple of years, a couple shows coming that way, and uh, best of luck to you. We can't wait to be in Charlotte next year. Thanks. We look forward to seeing you in Charlotte and then Winston-Salem. And then Winston-Salem. Absolutely. Thanks, Whit. Sure thing.